God once again for the gift of life. We thank him for sustaining all of us up to today. I am reaching you this morning or this Sunday from the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Tamar North District Children's Service. Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Tamar North District Children's Service. We are doing our lesson number 15. Lesson 15. And our reference is Act chapter 2, verse 1 to 42. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once again for this Sunday. We pray that I let your word speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Holy Spirit gives you power to witness for Christ. The Holy Spirit gives you power to witness for Christ. Without the power of the Holy Spirit, you not be able to share the word of God. You not have the flair. You not have the, the courage. You not have the desire to tell others to turn away from their sins. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, it is this Holy Spirit that will give you the power to witness, to tell others about Christ. Let's quickly go to our memory verse for today. Our memory verse for today is chosen from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. Acts, chapter 1, verse 8. I'm reading from the Good News Bible. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you'll be filled with power, and you'll be witnesses for me in Jerusalem. In all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Amen. The Holy Spirit gives you power to witness for Christ. You and I are ambassadors of Christ. And know as ambassadors of Christ, we have to tell others about Christ. And to be able to tell others about Christ, in order to witness for Christ, in order to tell somebody to turn away from their sins, you need the power of the Holy Spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit that will give you power to witness for Christ. Bible says that, Jesus Christ was crucified, dead, and was buried. And the Bible said he resurrected and then he ascended to heaven. And when Jesus Christ ascended to heaven, all the disciples, the apostles, Peter and the rest, they were all together in one place. The Bible said they were in one accord. They were together with one mind, one purpose. They pray, they read the word of God, and then they share food for every one of them. And the Bible said there was a time when they all had gathered as they used to be. And that was the day of Pentecost. Do you remember when Jesus Christ was finally going? He told the disciples, as I'm going, somebody will come in my place and that will be your comforter. 
That will be your counselor. And that person is the Holy Spirit that Jesus promised. So the disciples were always together. They were praying. They were studying the word of God. And Jesus Christ told them, they shouldn't depart. They shouldn't leave. They should always be there and wait upon the promise that he, Jesus Christ, had given them. And the Bible said, they were there. The Bible said, they, they, they were together in one accord. One purpose, one mind. They were doing the same thing. Praying, studying the word of God. And the Bible said, when the day of Pentecost had come, and the disciples were there, there was great wind. There was a rushing sound. The wind was blowing, strong wind, blowing in the, in the place where they were. And the Bible said, whilst they were there, and there was wind, great wind blowing, they saw that something had entered into the room. The Holy Spirit had entered into the room in the form of tongues of fire. And it settled on the disciples. It settled on each one of them on the head. Wow. The Bible said, when the Holy Spirit came upon them, they began to speak different languages. They, they, they began to speak different kinds of languages. If it were to be in Ghana today, we would say that some of them will be speaking French, some of them will be speaking Hausa, some Gan, some Eve, some uh, Dagomba, some Trepon, some uh, Gan, Gangbe. We're speaking different uh, kinds of languages. And Bible said, every one of them, all the natives from different places, they heard the disciples speak in their own language. Bible said, there were so many people, some were from Media, some were from Elam, some were from Parthia, Asia, uh, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Libya, Rome, Arabia. There were so many people, natives, from different places. They were all there. And when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples, they were able to speak in different languages. Do you remember our memory verse? The memory verse told us that. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you'll be filled with a power and you will be witnesses for me in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. The Bible said, when the Spirit, Holy Spirit came upon them, they were able to witness to all these people. I told you, all these people were there. And the disciples were talking about the good things about Jesus Christ. Was, was talking about how Jesus came to save mankind. And they heard the good news about Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit gives you power to witness. If you read the word of God, if you pray all the time, if you join your parents when they are doing cells, cell meeting, or when you join them to do a, a home cell or, or morning devotion. When they are praying, you pray during the devotions. You'll be filled with the power and you have the courage to witness for Christ. Upon all this, the Bible said, there were some people... They, they were laughing at them. They didn't understand why the disciples were speaking in different languages. So some of them were mocking at them. They were laughing at them. Ah, these people, they, they are drunk. That's why they are speaking like that. Sometimes, some of you, you are like that. When you hear somebody, if somebody speaks a language which is not your language, they say, ah, kasaben no kana. You too, kasaben no kana. Everybody has his or her own language. So when somebody is speaking his own language, don't say, ah, Kasabin. And those people, some people, they didn't understand. So they thought the disciples were drunk. So Peter stood up among the others and said, hey, don't think that. Don't think we are drunk. It is too early. It's just the third hour. It's only nine in the morning. Why do you think that we will be drunk? At this time, 
We are not drunk. You see, the power of the Holy Spirit had come upon Peter. Now he has the courage, he has the power, he has the vim to declare the good things about Jesus Christ. The Bible said, Peter told the people about Christ. How Jesus Christ was crucified, how he, he, he resurrected, how he ascended to heaven, how he will come back again to take the righteous people. So Peter told them, repent, turn away from your sins, stop doing bad things, stop lying, stop stealing, stop crying among yourself, and then give your life to Christ, follow Christ, take Christ as your personal savior. The Bible said, Peter, who couldn't have done this? Now Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit. And Peter was able to speak to the crowd. Peter has a power because the Holy Spirit has given him the power. You can also do your share. You can also do yours. You can also tell others about Christ. The other time we talk about the wordless book. We talk about our gospel hand. Gospel hand. One, two, three, four, five. You know that. You can use the gospel hand to tell others about Christ. You can use the word, the wordless book to tell others about Christ. You can tell your brothers and sisters, your siblings around, your parents, your aunties, your uncles around who have not given their lives to Christ, who are not friends of Jesus Christ. Tell them that Christ loves them. That they should stop doing all the bad things and give their lives to Christ. And that is what Peter did. Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit. And Peter told them. And the Bible said, on that day, hey, what a wow. About 3,000 people converted. About 3,000 people gave their lives to Christ. 3,000 of them, they said, oh, we will not do sin again. We will not commit sin again. We will not do bad things again. Now, we, we, we want to be friends of Jesus Christ. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ. We want to follow the good examples that Jesus Christ left for us. The Bible said, it is the Holy Spirit that gives these people the power, the apostles, the power to witness the Bible said, afterwards, they joined the disciples and they were all together as one body and they did things in common. As I said, it's only the Holy Spirit that will give you power. The Holy Spirit gives you the power to witness for Christ. If you must accept Jesus Christ as your friend and your personal savior. If you are doing something which is not good, you stop that. Be a good boy. Be a good girl. And you become a friend of Jesus Christ. You pray. You read your Bible. After the coronavirus issue, we'll be going to church service. You always go to church service. And then the power of the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The Holy Spirit will give you power to witness for Christ. And when Jesus Christ comes, you follow him to heaven and enjoy life. Father, we thank you for your word. Let your word empower us. Let your word strengthen us so I'll be able to witness for Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, children, you know, as I've been telling you, we are not in the normal times. You know the coronavirus thing. Please, don't go out. Be at home. Be at home. Stay home all the time. So that you don't go out and get the disease. You don't know who is there. Who has the disease. You go and play. Somebody has a disease. He can pass it on to you. And you fall sick and you die. Jesus needs you. You must also wash your hand regular with soap and water, running water, I mean. And then, from time to time, if there is no water, if there is no running water or soap for you to wash your hand, you can use your sanitizers 
you do it nicely as I taught you the other time. You rub it on your hand nicely. You do it well. Make sure your hands are always clean. And maybe at home, your doors, door handles, you can use a uh, spirit, you sanitize it, you spray spirit on it, you clean it so that you not have the disease. If it is very, very necessary to go out of your house, maybe mommy wants to send you to go out. If it's necessary to go out, then you carry or you take your nose mask, put on your nose mask. Nice. And then you go to wherever you may sent to go. Keep yourself well. Jesus needs you. Jesus needs you alive, needs you alive and wants you to have good health. Amen. Let us say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. We shall sing our children's hymn. Present our children's hymn number 32. Me by Yesu in Chenya, Obechi Meni, Samira Huwa, Obechi Chimirire. Yesu in Chenya, Obechi Meni, Samira Oh, oh.